In this video, I'll show you how to install Lazarus on a Raspberry Pi computer and then copy from Windows programs that you've developed there and compile and run them on the Raspberry Pi. Now, I'm Hugh and this is another lesson in a series about programming with Lazarus. In this series, I'll show you how to program in Object Pascal using the free Lazarus software and then how to compile those programs on other operating systems. To follow this series in order, be sure to bookmark the playlist, which you'll find down beneath this video. Now, I'm assuming you've got your Raspberry Pi up and running. You've got the uh, system software, you've got the uh, operating system installed, and it's connected to a network. That being so, let's see how to install Lazarus. On the Raspberry Pi desktop, I click this icon to run the terminal. And here at the system prompt, I enter sudo space apt apt space install space Lazarus and I press the enter key. And now the Lazarus software is downloaded, unpacked and installed. I may be prompted to continue. Yes, I, I enter Y to tell it to continue. And now I just have to sit back and wait for it to finish. So eventually the installation finishes. I'm now ready to run Lazarus. So I go up here, click the little Raspberry icon programming and Lazarus and wait for the Lazarus uh, software to install. Start the IDE and there we are. There's my installation of Lazarus. Now, I should point out that I'm showing what I think is the easiest way to install Lazarus on the Raspberry Pi for most people. However, the installation, when done in this way, may be slightly behind the very latest version of Lazarus available. And you can download that, if you wish, from the Lazarus website. You can see these deb releases here for Linux. And those are probably better left to people who are really familiar with Linux and the Raspberry Pi operating system and are quite happy doing that sort of installation. Uh, but if you are a little bit uh, less intimately familiar with uh, Linux, then just follow the, the tutorial that I'm showing here. With Lazarus installed, I try it out. I click the run and debug button, that green arrow up here to see if I can run this simple blank application. But I get an error starting process in debugger. OK, let's try it without debugging. So this time I'll run without debugging just to verify that it really is a valid installation. Everything is working. Wait a little while for it to compile and up pops this form. So Lazarus is working. It's just the debugger isn't. If you have that problem, go into tools and options and you can set the debugger for the project. So Normally, I found on the Raspberry Pi, the uh, new debugger is the one to go for, the GDB. So I've set that for this project. And uh, down here, I select GDB as well in that field. Click OK. And now when I run it, hopefully the correct debugger will be uh, used and... If the form pops up, I know all is well, and there it is. So that's fixed this debugging problem for this project. But how do I de debug uh, any project? How do I set a default? Well, when I start Lazarus, this first dialog box that pops up, that provides me with some global options. I just go to the debugger and select GDB or use a bin GDB. So this is the full path. And that should set the default so that when I compile projects in future, the debugging should be available to me. All right, so let's try a proper program. This is a simple tax calculator that I programmed on Windows. I've copied the whole thing, including the form design, across to my Raspberry Pi. I'm now compiling it to see if it continues to work. And sure enough, it pops up. Let's see if it does my calculation. So I enter here and it's supposed to calculate and add 20% tax. So it looks like that is actually working. So this shows that I've done cross-platform development now with Lazarus developing and designing this on Windows and then running it on my Raspberry Pi installation of Lazarus. But you might be wondering how did I actually go about copying my Windows Lazarus program from my desktop PC onto my Raspberry Pi. Well, there are various ways of doing that. You can search using Google to find how to copy across a network or um, 
to use a USB drive and just plug it in. But there is a better way of doing that, and I want to show you that in the next couple of lessons. Uh, in the next lesson, I'll show you how to use a Raspberry Pi right from within Windows. Um, so, for example, you'll be able to use the Raspberry Pi desktop on your PC. You can see that's what I'm doing here. That's the Raspberry Pi desktop on the monitor, but I am actually using my Windows-based computer. So, the screen you see running is the Raspberry Pi. The monitor is actually the monitor of my Windows-based PC. Now, how do I do that? Well, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell, so you'll be notified when I upload any new lessons in future.